This is the video response to Jake, the guy from Platoon Power Squadron, which most of you guys know as the superhero show that Weezy Waiter's in. But it's also a follow-up sort of expansion of my Monday's 10-second uh, topic video, which was about trailers. You see, it's not that I'm against trailers as an art form, but typically speaking, I think that trailers very, very often misrepresent what the movie or show or whatever it is that they're producing is about. I think, and I don't know enough about the movie industry to say this is an absolute fact, but I think that most trailers are cut together by the distribution company rather than the company that produced the movie, or the director, or the editor, or any of those people. So that's a big advantage that YouTube has, is that when we cut together trailers, it's us as the artistic team putting together the movie, or putting together the trailer, rather than the people that are wanting to sell the movie putting together the trailer. And the reason I say that it seems like the people that are trying to sell the movie are putting together the trailer rather than the artistic team trying to put together the trailer is oftentimes, say, take for instance, the trailer for Sunshine Cleaning, which I'll link in the doobly-doo in an annotation. The link, the, the trailer for Sunshine Cleaning made it seem like that was going to be a feel-good comedy movie about two sisters that go into this weird business and they have wacky adventures. Ultimately, the movie was really kind of sad. I wrote a blog post on Monday about this trailer phenomenon, which you can go check out in the link in the doobly-doo, but I just wanted to kind of say that I typically don't like trailers unless it's made by the company that made the movie. I just think that it's it's leads people to believe things that aren't really true about the movie. Now, for things like Harry Potter, I already know what's going to happen in the movie, and I already know where the movie's going and, and what's happening in the movie, so watching the trailer is just kind of cool to get to see the visuals and the visualizations of the artistic team. For instance, in the trailer for, I think it was the sixth Harry Potter movie, they showed the, um, the black smoke Death Eater destroying the bridge, which I just thought was freaking awesome. I think it was in the trailer. Anyway, it was, it was one of the first visuals we see in the movie, at the very least, and I think they showed it in the trailer as well. But I think that that was an amazing visualization of that particular, you know, thing that was in the book that wouldn't have existed otherwise. So to see the visualizations in the trailer is really cool, but to see where they kind of show the story going is is just, it never seems to work. Now I think one of the wonderful things about the way YouTube is going and, and sort of the way that we're being able to be successful in the real world of media is that we're able to cut the trailers together ourselves and direct those trailers as well. Because I think that really trailers are an artistic art form that, artistic art form, yeah. Really eloquent there, Bobby. Oh gosh. Anyway, I think that our, I think the trailers are an art form that it's hard to perfect and sometimes even a movie director that can direct an entire full-length two and a half hour movie but then they can't put together a trailer because it's it's such a short form media. But I think that as YouTube creators we're we're starting to understand short form media as well as understand long form media so we can bring those two talents together and really cut together some amazing trailers. So uh, the trailer for Pops are always really good, and they do kind of give a, a good outline of the story and what's going on in the story. So, um, yeah, I, I like your trailers, but I don't typically like trailers at all. That's my answer to your question. I'll see you guys on Monday with another episode of uh, 10 Second Topics.